Okay. In the aerospace industry, the problem with carbon fiber is safety. Also, cost, because you have to manufacture airliners, require huge amounts of carbon if you want to make them out of carbon, so it would be very expensive. But safety, as in um, if it was made out of aluminum, the standard is aluminum, you can check that. With, you can x-ray the aluminum, you can see it crack, you can weld it if it breaks, but carbon is fabric, so if it starts to tear, you can't really do anything. And that's a big deal. So there you see the uh, Beach Starship that basically pioneered this technology in the 80s, and there's the 787, which um, you can see from this handy graph, shows all the carbon composites they use in it. Uh, the sandwich I talked about, the honeycomb, and just regular laminate. So this is their big uh, thing Boeing's talking about. And it saves a lot of weight, so their airliner can carry more people and make them more money. And then in motorsports, um, here the, the rule is not really safety or cost. They don't care about cost. They have unlimited amounts of money. So anything that can legally be made out of carbon fiber is made out of carbon fiber. So here you see the Audi R18. It's not painted black. It's raw carbon fiber. And even the brake rotors are made out of solid carbon fiber, or carbon-reinforced carbon is what they call it. And thinking of cost, instead of being made out of steel, these carbon rotors, to produce one takes six months. But when money's not an option, that's what you can look like. So now, um, uh, my experience on the Gator Motorsports team. We use carbon composites all the time. Uh, here you can see on our formula car, the, the side pod here, here's actually the prototype of it, made in carbon fiber before it's dressed up with our orange and blue. Uh, the advantages are just weight. These things aren't really structural. The body's not structural. It'll just save weight. But the disadvantages are cost and the resources involved in making it. Because to make that thing, we need to design it on the computer. We need to make molds. We need to have people sand and polish the molds. We need to have people put the carbon on it and the baking and the sanding and pulling it off. So it's a huge time investment. So that's what makes it a very difficult trade-off. Um, other things we use on the car are this, uh, here's a seat back. That thing looks actually pretty beautiful, but to make it look like that took a long time. Hundreds of man hours went into that. Uh, that's our carbon intake manifold. One of, we are one of the first schools to pioneer that uh, a few years ago. Um, now places we haven't gone yet are, here's a control arm for our car. It's made out of steel too. But as you can see on this German team, it has a carbon fiber uh, composite basically making the same structure. They use carbon tubes as opposed to steel. It's obviously a lot lighter. We don't have the technology yet to, to even fathom making that thing, but we're working on it. Um, so other things these schools are getting into is this carbon fiber wheel. Don't ask me how they make that. I have no idea. And then. Um, that car there is the number one car in the world. You can see the beautiful weave on their front wing. Uh, they also have a carbon fiber monocoque body. Same with them. Uh, that's the number four team in the world from Austria. And it's uh, basically the same thing. It's two layers of carbon fiber with aluminum honeycomb in the middle. Really light, really stiff, really expensive. But it's the best way to go for super high performance. So that's what we're looking for in the future. And um, that basically summarizes my project. Thank you. Any questions? There's got to be some questions. Come on. Have you driven this car? Yes. How is it like? How do you feel? Uh, let's see. That's, that's me in it, actually, right there. Oh. Well, we're getting off topic, but um, at 0 to 60 in about three and a half seconds. Hmm. That's like a Ferrari 430. And... Uh, 1.5 lateral G's, so that's like a Ferrari 430 would be like 0.9 to 1, so 50% faster than that. Whoa. So it's very fast. It's like a go-kart with 70 horsepower. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs>